Hi, this is John Bush, the development manager of the RSmart Group. I'm going to be doing a quick demo of the Turn It, it In Again integration that's available for Sakai. This was uh, visual, originally um, developed by University of Cape Town. <clears throat> it's available as a contrib tool for Sakai. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here as an instructor. <clears throat> so the integration is something that exists within the assignment tool. So um, when you create an assignment, get over to assignments here, I've got an existing one here. If you have uh, the content review service, that's the integration integrated, you'll see um, a couple new options, the review service here. So this um, allows you to you know flag this particular assignment to use the review service and toggle this flag whether or not you want students to be able to review the report afterwards um, so you, you know you create your assignment in the normal way and then what happens is <clears throat> when a student um, students submit their reports there's a um, a couple of courts jobs that run in the background that send off the um, send off the submissions to turn it again so it can scrub them for plagiarism and then once that's done that'll report back here in this column here with either you know a green notifier which means that that one's been um, it looks pretty good or something red if it's been you know highly borrowed material um, if it hasn't been scrubbed yet then you'll see this no report so just to show you how the jobs work, go to the job scheduler, and there's these two jobs here. So um, the first one just sends it off to turn it in again and then they process it and then once it's complete the second job will pick up the report. So I'm going to go ahead and run that now. And if we go back to our assignments, we'll see that that third one now is available for a report. So when you click this on, this will take you over to turn it in against website and it'll show you what matched and didn't. This was a, a document um, I had just uh, some technical information on, on DB2 and you can see most things came back fine. Um, this particular one I sent through a document that just had um, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Um, from a tale of two cities and you can see that that matched this particular website. Um, the reason it matches is because I just copied the line the same line a number of times so it, it found it there. Now I just did the third one, I just did the first line in the Bible and let's see what that does. So it looks like it found it here in the Bible on DVD. And uh, let's see if we exclude quoted material. It's a little bit better. I put that same line twice in there, once quoted, not once not quoted, just to see what it would do. So that's pretty much the integration. It's really easy to get set up. Um, of course, you've got to have a turn it in again account, um, which you know will cost you some money. But once you get this integrated, this is just a um, you know, just a great tool for instructors to be able to, um, you know, see what their students are doing.